aiming in esports is most likely the most subjective thing I have yet to see. Hi everyone, my name is Zeke and I will be doing a series where we talk about basic aim fundamentals all the way down to the more advanced stuff as uh, this series goes along. Today's episode we are going to be focusing on mouse grips and different mouse size in your hand shape and a bit of sense a bit of talk on sensitivity. Right, so let's get into it. So I've got three mice here. I've got an ergonomic Zowie EC2B, I've got a diamond shape Shroud G303 wireless, and then I've got your trust trusty baby, the G Pro Super Light Magenta Edition wireless as well. Now let's all grips. So let's go over the three main grips, right? The three main grips excluding variations right you've got your palm grip this mouse is really good for palm grip so i can show you guys it palm grip as you can see my fingers are flushed all against the mouse including my thumb and including my ring and pinky there is no pretty much airspace between my palm and the mouse all right a core grip pretty much the same as the palm but the mouse touches the back of my hand and my fingers are arched so only my fingertips are in contact and we do have airway, which lets us do micro corrections. The last grip that is most commonly known is the fingertip grip. The fingertip grip is basically I'm only holding the mouse with my fingertips. And as you saw in claw, the back of the mouse was touching. Here, nothing is touching. My palm is completely free of any mouse contact. Let's talk the pros and cons. Okay, so let's go with fingertip first. Fingertip pros, you have the widest range of motion with your fingers. So your micro adjustments is very good for the micro adjustments, smaller flicks and being very precise. However, really, really badly, especially if you play a game like Overwatch is where you'll notice it, it struggles with large flicks and large swipes because of the instability that you're holding with your fingers. Yes, you can build up more finger dexterity, but as someone who's used fingertip for the past in two years and I feel like I've pretty good aim on fingertip, what you will notice is with fingertip, your pinky or your thumb usually will even though it's stable and won't slip out of your hand will move around the mouse like you know maybe my pinky here will i'll do a flick and then now be now be here a bit higher up what that does is create inconsistencies because one part of grip that really matters is your consistent finger placement so where your ring so your index middle ring pinky and thumb are placed if they're placed consistently on a spot you will have consistent micro adjustments and you will have consistent tracking. Right? But that's pretty much fingertip. Let's talk claw grip. Claw grip is pretty much you are only touching the mouse with your fingers, fingertips, sorry, but the back of the mouse is there for support. Now, I believe for beginners, um, either a palm grip or a claw grip is a better one to go with because it provides stability. Um, so claw grip, basically the advantage is a claw grip pretty simple you have the stability of your palm which keeps the mouse nice and stable which keeps your fingers in a consistent position and you also get good vertical and <coughs> horizontal micro adjustments with your fingers as you can see here I can do this is all with just my fingers I'm doing this while the palm is still hitting the back of my mouse so that's even as a palm grip which is probably one of the most common grips because of how comfy it is. It feels damn comfy. The only problem with palm grip is you have no finger motion because like we said, the fingers are all flushed in so you can't make vertical like movements with your fingers. It is however the most stable because you have so much more contact with the mouse. This grip can be great for beginners, but like we said, it really, really struggles with micro adjustments. However, it can be really good for tracking um, because of how much stability you have. Now, out of the three grips, you might ask me, what is the most optimal, right? <clears throat> there is no such thing. There is no optimal grip, ever. I'm currently just, my grip right now, I will show you guys it real quick before we play. So I have pretty much a claw grip. I have only my fingertips will touch the mouse. However, I do have a little gap in between. Now that might be normal, that might be not. I haven't done my research into that because I don't actually research my own grip. I sort of just pick up the mouse and play. Right, and that's my best advice to anyone here starting out. Doesn't mean don't try new mouse grips, because like we said, aiming is very subjective, but usually picking up your mouse and natural grip is fine. And that's because even if you're a palm grip user, you might think, oh, but I don't have any finger motions. I'm not using all three of my aiming things. However, your body 
and any human body will adapt to that. You only realize when you're trying to make the smallest movements, you don't have any fingers to do it with, right? So what it'll do is it'll use your wrist. And it'll help use your arm consecutively with your wrist to make larger upwards motions and smaller with just your wrist. All right, so I can get the same. If you look at it, it almost looks like I'm using my fingers. However, I am only just here using this part of my arm and my wrist. But it looks like I've got full finger motion, right? And that's what your body will adapt to. Same thing with claw. Yes, it's got stability. You know, I still have all vertical. You might be like, oh, but is it... Is, is the palm restricting it? No, it's not. Your body will adapt. Same thing with fingertip. Your body will adapt. But one thing about, I will say about fingertip though, no matter, I feel like, how long you play on fingertip, you will not be consistent. There, there's obviously outliers to that, but for the general people, you know, maybe for the vast majority of people, let's just say, you will not be consistent with fingertip because the moment your finger placement moves, you're now the tiniest bit inconsistent. Now, once again, there's always exceptions to rules, but I'm saying this for the vast majority of people. Right, that is pretty much sums up mouse grips in general. In summary, use one that's comfortable to you. Don't worry about its disadvantages or pros. If it's comfortable to you and it works for you, your body will adapt to its disadvantages. Don't go into a spiral of Googling, you know, oh, what's the best mouse grip? Or oh, what's going to give me the best advantage? Or oh, what does this pro player use? Don't ever get into that situation where you're copying a pro player. Because you know what they did? You know why they're at that level? They picked up their mouse and held it. Mouse grip hasn't even been a thing to talk about until the last two years. Before then, no one discussed how they held the mouse. Maybe some people did, but it wasn't a big thing. So, in summary, hold the mouse and play the game. Like all things aiming, as the guys in Kovacs say, aiming is subjective. If you guys have any input or anything you want to comment on that you thought I said was wrong or that I thought was right, Make sure you guys leave it down in the comment section below. And if you want to see more of these series, we'll be hoping to get one out every week. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care and keep aiming.